Today I'm going to teach you guys how to do a power slide. So for the power slide, you have to go with a lot of speed. You have your front foot on the front of the board, turned like that, push really hard, and then turn it into the 90 degree position. You have your back foot on the tail and your front foot near the front trucks. So that is the foot position for the power slide. And like I said, you have to be going with a lot of speed, so make sure you're super comfortable riding your board and you have the basics of riding and turning down well. The power slide is a more advanced technique from the first step in skateboarding made simple, which is just riding your board. So it's kind of one of those questions of how good can you be at just riding your board and the power slides and different ways of just maneuvering your board answers that question. So you can be pretty good at just riding and this is one of the techniques you should learn. So in terms of getting the power slide down, you can see how as I turn my feet into that 90 degree position, I push my feet forward, meaning my feet are in front of me and my upper body is in the back seat. You have to do that and put a lot of weight pushing, forcing your board to go forward because it takes a lot of force for your wheels to slide sideways on the asphalt like that. So as you can see, my wheels are rolling and then as I turn the 90 degree position, they lock up and they actually stop turning and then they slide forward. So as you can see, my upper body is in the back seat and I'm pushing the board forward. This takes a lot of power, it takes a lot of force to get your wheels to go like that. And sometimes they'll grab on the concrete like you saw right there and then flip you forward. So that's the basics of doing the power slide is just really getting your weight to push forward on the front of the board. And the more you practice this, the better you'll get at it. And as I said earlier, you have to take a lot of speed into it. If you try to do this without a lot of speed, you're just going to stop. So yeah, a lot of speed is required. So as you can see right here, I turn my feet forward and then I didn't quite lean back far enough so my wheel stuck and I fell forward. The other thing that could happen is you could lean back too far and you can slide out. Now I didn't fall back on this, but that's what will happen oftentimes on the four wheel slide or the power slide, is that your board will shoot forward and your body will fly back. So you have to find the exact correct weight where your balance is going to be not too far forward, but not too far back either. So your wheels can just slide along the asphalt. And then as soon as you feel like you have slid far enough or your wheels start to grab, you want to turn your, your board forward again so you're just rolling in the regular riding position. This is going to take a lot of practice to really get it down the first few times. And it can be a little scary because you're going so fast and if your wheels stick at all you're going to fly forward. Or if you lean too far back you're going to fly back. But don't worry, you'll be able to get it down. There's a lot of different variations you can do on the four wheel slide. You can do two wheel slides, two wheel slides on the front wheels, on the back wheels, going back side, front side, all different ways. So yeah, this is a really fun to do and it really helps when you start to learn like manual pivots and stuff like that because this is actually the first step to it. Now the other thing that four wheel slides come in handy for is when you're bombing hills like this. So this, the power slide helps to slow you down. So when you have a ton of speed, you gotta actually like be able to turn your board in the 90 degree position to slow yourself down as you can see right here. I just throw my board forward. I'm leaning back just like I said earlier, but not back too far, otherwise you're gonna flip out. Your wheels also play a big part in four wheel slides. The harder your wheels are, the easier they'll slide. If you have soft wheels, they tend to not quite slide as well and they'll grab the concrete a little better. But if you have really hard wheels, they'll just slide right along. As you can see, my wheels are turning and then as I get into the power slide position, they stop turning and they go solid. So this can cause a thing called flat spots, meaning the more you slide, you'll actually get a flat spot on your wheels and then when you're riding in the regular position it'll sound like a motorboat 
So you have to make sure and get really good wheels. The wheels that I found that I think work the best because they both slide well and they don't flat spot are Bones Street Tech Formula. So those are the ones that I use and that's what I recommend because they do slide well. Now if any of you guys are learning the basics of skateboarding, I highly, highly recommend checking out Skateboarding Made Simple. It's super detailed and it will take you through all the steps through kickflip. Check out all these videos and make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at BrailleSkate. Thanks a lot for your guys' help and support.